So this guy um, innocently mentions Steve Maeda. I think I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that name right. He mentioned him as, or he tags him in a video and says that, you know, James Christensen is somebody that should be, be a good person to have in your group. But Steve is full of doo-doo. See, a lot of you guys see these guys and you don't really question what they're doing or how it's working. Like, you got to get in the habit of, like when somebody looks at me, they should say, how the hell does James even know what he's talking about? And then if you pay attention to any of my videos or look at the links in my bio, I have winning court orders of me getting um, temporary visitation with my daughter five days a week when she's like four months old on my first try. You know, early on in my initial custody case, I had to fight off bogus protection orders and then um, go to a temporary order hearing. I got zero visitation. I did a revision from a commissioner to a judge in Washington. That's a mini appeal. Like in other states where you do a magistrate to a judge. Then <clears throat> I got my baby's mom found in contempt. And you have attorneys like his name is Men's Lawyer California or something like that. Oh, God, what is his name? A guy in L.A. He said, don't even try contempt. You won't win anything. And a lot of lawyers say, don't try contempt. It looks aggressive. That's like saying, don't call the cops on somebody breaking into your house. That looks aggressive. You might ruin their life. They're the criminal, you idiot. I mean, these attorneys are so pussified that they're saying don't hold somebody accountable for violating a court order. They're so feminized by the radical feminist movement that they take the mother's side themselves. You guys all know that. But I'm going to get to Steve in a second. When you look at me, I tell you guys, don't believe anything I say just because I say it. When I say, here's what the law in New Mexico says, or family, the law in California says, they have a policy of frequent and ongoing contact with both parents. Now, the courts may not act that out, just like Jim Crow South didn't honor the Constitution, or when Alabama was forced to desegregate the schools, they didn't follow, they didn't follow the Constitution, or even orders from the president, or whatever, so they had to bring the National Guard in. So... Just because everybody's following this M.O. of feminism and stuff like that doesn't mean you have to sell yourself out and not try. While the system is anti-father, I'm still going to stand on my rights the way that they're written. But you got a bunch of pussy-ass attorneys who Steve Maeda says you should get. This is, this is like a house slave saying, I care for black people. Or a politician who says, I care for my constituents. Steve Maeda has a video on YouTube Go to his page, the video that says the five things that you should do. Number One of them is get a lawyer. And in that YouTube video, Steve Maeda says, you got to get a lawyer and whatever. And in the comments, he goes, it's hard to figure this stuff out. you got to get a lawyer. And from what I could tell, Steve Maeda got screwed and lost in his own divorce. And he's sitting there saying, do what I did so that you can win. And he lost. You gotta be a friggin' retarded, numb nuts, low IQ imbecile with a lobotomy to actually believe that. This is why you guys should question stuff. You guys just blindly trust somebody who's, that, that sounds great. You know what sounds great? The, the, the $10,000, you know, souped up supercharger, you know, uh, um, I don't know, sports car, you know, like a Nissan 300ZX that's souped up and it's $10,000 and originally it was $30,000 and it's as good as new, but it's 35 years old. Are you just going to believe used car salesmen because they say it? You guys believe slick talking lawyers just because they say something? You guys believe somebody who lost in court like Steve, whatever he says, because it sounds good. You should question everything, even what I tell you. See, you guys know I'm not hustling and conning you when I tell you, question what I say. See, I'm out here telling people to empower yourself and figure it out on your own. That's why a lot of lazy, bitch-ass dads come to me and say, all you did in the console was teach me how to do stuff and how to go find stuff on my own. Yeah, that's what people do in life. When you go to college, they teach you how to be a doctor to perform surgery on your own. Your college professor doesn't follow you around. 
Your driver's ed teacher doesn't follow you around for the next 50 years that you drive starting at age 16. When somebody teaches you to fish, they don't go fishing with on every fishing expedition. You learn how to fish on your own. Now, if somebody's a bleeding heart and they want to empower somebody to be lazy, they'll just give them a fish and they'll take them to the store and feed them and stuff. Oh, you poor little thing, you're starving. Here's a, here's a rod, here's a pole, maybe spend some money on that. Here's how to fish. You live near a river, go get that, get a pan, and make a campfire. Even if you're a bum, you could do that and you could eat for the rest of your life. <sighs> But Steve Maeda, some guy in the comments said, I won in court, I got custody or 50-50 without an attorney. And Steve Maeda got in there and he said, that's horrible advice. This punk-ass bitch of a sellout is sitting there telling dads to spend ten, twenty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 on an attorney. And he did the same thing and he lost. If I do something and I lose and fail at it, I'm not going to tell anybody to follow my losing strategy. But this punk-ass bitch, Steve Maeda, it's not the guy who made the comments, the guy who referred Steve Maeda, He's out here telling people to do that. So when I tell you do stuff without an attorney, don't do it just because I said so. Do it because you, you vetted me. You looked into it. If you go to my flow page, you could see, like I said, I have, I have winning uh, court orders on there. When I got my baby's mom found in contempt on my first try, I don't think I have my temporary order on there. It's a little handwritten and it's a little messy, so I haven't bothered to bring that up. I probably should put it up there. But I have my contempt order, which says the visitation schedule that I had at that point, and my daughter's only like four or five months old. I got the mom. Well, by that time, we'd have a contempt hearing and got continued a few months. Anyway, got my baby's mom found in contempt for four violations. I was going for five, I think, or it's three and four. Got her ordered to pay $250 sanctions for for punishment and i got makeup time <clears throat> and attorneys out there will say you'll never get anything and all you'll get just do contempt for money issues which is what women do for child support and the prosecutors will do it for them also <sighs> you see my winning custody order giving me full custody and sole decision making you see my wins in the court of appeals against an attorney at the time he had about 40 42 years experience 40 and then I took him to court about seven years later so he had about 46 47 years experience and I destroyed him and I got the biggest baddest judge in Seattle which makes him the biggest baddest judge in the entire upper left corner of the United States or the entire one-fourth all the Midwest from Minnesota down to Utah and San Francisco all northwest of that the biggest baddest judge I got him reversed in the Court of Appeals representing myself and this punk ass bitch Steve Maeda says you should never use an attorney but if you look at my winning orders, you see my name signed and the mother's attorneys, Donald Farrell and her first attorney, Mark B. Livis. And then you see guardian and items on there who um, are signing also. So I'm outnumbered by a guardian and item with 10 years experience, an attorney with 17 years experience, and the court that's anti-father and the mother signing and stuff. I'm outnumbered four to one and I got full custody of my daughter. I show you my winning court orders. Don't believe me or anybody else just because they say something. What's Steve Maeda's track record? Where's his winning court orders when he's telling you do this or do that? What about your lawyer? They say, oh, I can get you 50-50. How many times have you asked them how many times you got a dad 50-50? Then by the time you get beat down and destroyed in court, you have a guardian line, a parenting value, or an anger management assessment, DV evaluator, and you go through and spend $80,000, then you go to mediation, and, and you say, oh, she only wants to give me every the weekend, and we live three blocks away, I should have 50-50. Your attorney says, just sign off on every other weekend. Uh, why don't we, I thought you said we are going to go for 50-50. Look, you're already in the hole. Um, you're behind the eight ball. You're not going to win in, 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 um, at trial. Well, what about father's rights? And you said fathers are equal. And said, well, that's bull crap. You know, the judges don't care. And they sell you out because they never intended to take it all the way to trial. They wanted to go through the motions, collect as much money as possible, go to mediation and get you to settle, sit down at mediation, make $2,000 sitting there for what, 400, five hours at mediation, get $2,000 and walk away and jump onto the next big fat retainer. 
You guys need to question stuff more. If somebody says something that sounds good, it's probably too good to be true, so you should double check it. Just like you should double check me. When I say, I started talking about California, when I say California has a policy of frequent ongoing contact, I'll say go look up Family Code 3020B. Texas says the same thing. Go look at Family Code 153001. Go look it up. Don't just believe me. Don't just believe this bitch here either.